This is Glass Pane by Pathset. Shout out to Cubis Guitar on Reddit for suggesting that I check this module out, and in no landscape for the second. Glass Pane is a network sequencer. The steps of the sequence are controlled by cabling. Here are some examples of me using this bad boy. The module is arranged into 16 nodes in a 4x4 configuration. These are the main clock and reset inputs. Each of the 16 nodes have the same layout and operate in the same manner. These two ports are trigger inputs. These three ports are trigger outputs. Each of these outputs will send a signal when activated and progress the sequence. This knob sets a control voltage value that will be sent through the main CV out. In the right-click context menu, you have the ability to change the range of this CV knob. It has both bipolar and unipolar capabilities. These indicator lights display which port was most recently utilized. To prepare a sequence, you connect nodes from output to input. An important rule is that when a sequence hits a dead end, it automatically defaults back to the top left node. So the top left node will always be your starting point. Here's an example of this concept. I have three dead ends here, one to the right, one diagonal, and one down. We'll observe the signal resetting at the top left node for each of these. You can choose between three different sequencing modes by clicking this button. This first mode, shown by a blue light, is called Cycle. When this mode is activated, the node will cycle through the outputs from left to right. The first clock tick activates the control voltage knob and sends a gate through the main gate output. The control voltage value set by the knob is also sent through the CV out at this time. The signal then moves to the right through the three outputs and cycles back. If an output is connected to another node, all of the nodes in that path will activate before the next output is chosen on the original node. In this example, the red cable path finishes before the green path starts. The cycle mode has two sub-modes, accessible through the right-click context menu. Evenly is the default setting and activates the output from left to right. Weighted plays a pattern where output 2 is played less often than output 1, and output 3 is played less often than output 2. This can be used to make rare events in your patch. The pattern that plays is knob 1, knob 2, knob 1, knob 3, knob 1, knob 2, repeat. The orange mode is called random. This mode will randomly select an output to progress the sequence. There are two sub-modes for random. Evenly is the default mode. All four of the outputs have the same likelihood to occur in this mode. Weighted can be accessed through the right-click context menu, and weighs the likelihood from most likely on the left to least likely on the right. The last mode, shown by a purple light, is called Ratchet, and it will burst the outputs one after another in a quick playback. The right-click context menu can be used to alter the playback speed of the Ratchet nodes. There are five choices. Dynamic is a variable speed based on how many connections there are. Each additional connection increases the speed. Whole note matches the clock input speed. Half note is twice as fast as clock input speed. Triplets is three times the clock speed. And finally, quarter notes is four times the clock speed. Here are some examples of these various modes at several different settings. This is an example of cycle mode. We see the first trigger output triggers each node in the top row and then goes back to the top left node which triggers the second output and moves on to the second row. There are two different melodic runs and we can hear the difference when the sequence jumps rows. This is an example of random. The sequence will randomly choose between a series of low notes and a series of high notes. Lastly, for a ratchet example, we'll hear a hi-hat triplet fill selected randomly.
Glass Pane has many possible patching arrangements and can be used to make some crazy content. It's free and you can get it by searching Glass on the VCV Rack library page or by subscribing to Pathset on the plugins page. That's it for this one. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me and I'm glad you found my content useful. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one.